the Pittsburgh Steelers' offense was really bad. While the New England's Patriots' offense, if we're honest, wasn't all that much better, scoring 17 points in this game. 17-14 was the final score. This actually closed at New England minus three. So probably a push for a lot of people who bet the Steelers, New England pa- Patriots betters, maybe you were there earlier enough to make sure you had the two and a half and were able to win this game. So maybe no harm, no foul for most people involved on the side. Higher or lower on the New England Patriots after their win over the Pittsburgh Steelers? Yeah, it's hard because it's funny that you know, so you're higher on a team because they actually won the football game. They didn't lose, but I'm not higher. I'm still lower on the New England Patriots even after this victory. The team stinks to me. Look, they're going to play good defense. We understand that. That's what Bill Belichick's, you know, call is. But the offense, they still haven't figured it out. 21 of 35 for 252, 79 uh, passer rating, a QBR of 56.6. Mac Jones was okay. He was bailed out on one play, mm-hmm. a nice play by Nelson Aguilar, where he basically, you know, mossed a defensive back and scored on a 44-yard touchdown. Sort of broke that game wide open. But nothing to me says New England Patriots are a team to watch out for. Because much like we saw, maybe Bill Belichick had the crystal ball and goes, I drafted Mac Jones. He was the wrong guy to actually pick. I can't have it. The more he throws, the worse our team is, which is usually the opposite. Like, hey, man, let's get out there and let it rip. Let's see if we can put up some points. 17-14 is a nice win, Kevin. Don't get me wrong, but I'm lower mm-hmm. on the New England Patriots because if we're going to get one of those teams that's just like, hey, you know what? Let's win between 14 to 20 points. You're not going to win very many football games. I don't care who you are. For me, I leave marginally higher. The de- n- n- had nothing to do with the offense. I know it's Trubisky. You hold your opponent to one touchdown, though, mm-hmm. in their building. And by the way, that's how many touchdowns they allowed last week to the Miami Dolphins, who we saw put up 42 points in Baltimore. So for New England, and this is what we talked about with the beginning portions of their schedule, they do play a couple of spots where they have quarterbacks you expect them to be able to beat up on. Now, the next two games are Lamar Jackson and Aaron Rodgers. But after that, Jared Goff, Jacoby Brissett, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson. Hey, did we throw Matt Ryan onto that list? By the way, then they play Zach Wilson again. If Bill Belichick's defense is for real, the Patriots might be able to steady the ship a bit. 